Welcome back everyone. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the S Pen on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now for those of you who don't know, you do have a stylus built in inside of your S22 Ultra, which is so cool. So what you want to do is you want to turn your phone over to the bottom and you will see where the charging port is. On the left side of the port, you will see this specific little stylus. So you can go ahead and click it into place and you can actually pull the stylus out like this. And that's really the S Pen. Now that's really pretty much the main thing you have to keep in mind. From here, you'll get a little prompt that comes up. Now at this point, you can go ahead and configure this however you want to. So you can go ahead and create a note, you can view all notes, you can smart select, you can screen write, live messages, AR doodle, and translate. And you can also add more things. Now I'm going to tell you, there within the pen itself, there are also some features. So it charges automatically within your specific phone, so it doesn't have to you know charge separately or anything like that. The top portion does click, so you can click the button, it doesn't do anything. There is a button on the side of this which you can map to other things. So if I go and hold it down, you can have it do something which is really cool so you can see it went out of there if i go and click here if i go and hold it down it'll go ahead and bring up you know a camera for example if i double click it can do something else too and i can have it do all sorts of different things and it'll go ahead and if i actually swipe it out if i go and double click it you can go ahead and see a little prompt that just comes up and say you can't do app action on the screen whatever so there's a lot of different things that come up with the specific phone so in its core features you can use it as a stylus so you can so you can move it away and move it around whichever way you want to. You can swipe up, you can really do anything you'd ever want to. You can draw with this tablet too, but you will see this little pencil icon on the right side. If you go and click on it, you will see that little prompt that we just had earlier. So at the top, it tells you your percentage, which is so cool. And at the bottom, you'll see two different toggles, the added toggle and the settings toggle. If we click on the settings toggle right here, you will get into the S Pen actions. So this is a bunch of different things that you can actually, you know, modify. So you can click on R, so you can click on Air actions. You can have it to do so many different things. So if you hold down the pen button, you can open up the camera. If you click on it, you can have it open up any other thing. You can have it go home, back, all sorts of different things. So I'd recommend scrolling through here and modifying it whichever way you want to. You can even turn it off if you'd like. You can see a couple other options too. You can see, you know, all these other things that we have. If we go and click back once more, you can see we have the screen off memo. So we can go ahead and write on our display if we want to. S Pen to text, we have that option, air view. And there's a lot of other options as well. So you can also show the hover when hovering. So you can also show the pointer when hovering. So if you look very closely, you can see that I actually have a little pointer over the specific display. It's kind of hard to tell how I have it now, but you can actually see that, which is so cool. So here you can go ahead and modify it however you want to again. The air commands you can go ahead and modify so you can click here. You can have it the standard view or you can have it as the compact view. So if we go and click here, you can have it either in this way or if we want it this way, we can click it and have it in a smaller way too, which is so cool. And I prefer this way better. Now if we click back, we can go and come back here. And again, there's a lot of different things. I mean, you can have it open air command or we can have it do nothing. So remember how it, when we put it in the stylus the first place when we took it out, it actually went ahead and opened up that menu automatically. Well, if we go and click it and we click it out, it won't even do anything separately. It'll just, we can use it as a normal stylus. We'll get that little prompt on the side. And that's really all we have to do. Now you can have sounds and vibrations. I typically keep these things off because it's kind of annoying sometimes. And from here, you're pretty much good to go. However, which way you want to set it up, it's totally up to you. And really cool thing I want to hit on too, is if your stylus is within your phone right here. Okay, got your S Pen, whatever, right? If we go ahead and turn off our phone, if we go ahead and take the stylus out while the display is off, we'll actually have the ability of drawing on our display. So we can draw on our display however we want to, even when the display is off. And when we actually click it back into place, it'll automatically save that note and it'll turn off our phone for us. So that's another really cool thing that we have the ability of doing. Hopping this phone out once more, you can see that we have a couple things that come up. You can swipe up to come back home. You can click on this. You can click on the toggles right here. You can also add a toggle by clicking here. You can add all sorts of other toggles too. So there's a lot of other options. You can even add apps. I will typically not add too many apps here. I'll just use these you know toggles up here for shortcuts. But that's pretty much it. That's a pretty basic tutorial on how to use the S Pen on your S22 Ultra. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.